Poisson distribution and we have the probability mass function for Poisson distribution. The Px is equals to e raised to power negative lambda, lambda to power x over x factorial and x starts from 0, 1, 2 and so forth. We consider an example. An answering machine receives about 8 telephone calls between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. What is the probability that the answering machine receives exactly two calls in the time interval? So the first thing is we want to get the mean, which is the number of calls. And we know here the time is two hours. That's what we want to keep in mind we use. But we'll keep the time period. So we are looking for the probability that x is equals to two. And since we have said the formula is given by e raised to power negative eight, which is our lambda. And then lambda to x, which is eight squared. And then the last thing is over two factorial. So that's what we have. And therefore, that will be 8 squared is 64 over 2 e raised to power negative 8, which is that 2 e raised to power 8. So that is the probability that you will receive exactly two cos. Part B of the equation that the answering machine receives at most two cos in the time interval. Probability of at most x is less than or equals to 2, so it's probability that x is equals to 0 plus probability of x is equals to 1 plus probability of x is equals to 2, which we've already been able to work on previously. So if that's the case, it is e less to power 8, 8 to power 0 over 0 factorial plus e less to power 8, 8 to power 1 all over 1 factorial plus e raised to power negative 8, 8 squared all over 2 factorial. So this is e minus 8 plus 8 e minus 8 plus that 2 e minus 8 which is 41 e raised to power minus 8 and is also equals to 0 0.0138. So there is a 1.38 percent chance that it will receive less than 2 equals to 2 or less than 2 phone calls in that time uh, period. But see that the answering machine receives at least 3 calls in the time interval. So it's probability that x is greater than or equals to 3. So we look at all the possible probabilities up to infinity. So and this is the same as 1 minus probability of x less than or equals to 2. That's basically what you have. So it is 1 minus 0 0.0138 and that will give us 0 0.9862. So there's a very high chance that at least it will receive a minimum of 3 calls or more. And that is okay because on average it receives 8 calls in that time interval. So that The fourth one is that the answering machine receives more than 1 call in the next 15 minutes. So what happens is that we say that lambda is equals 8 for 120 minutes. So now we have to get a new lambda, which is 15 over 120 times 8 is equals 1. This is for 15 minutes. So now our lambda value changes because we have changed the time interval. So therefore we want to find that it receives more than one call so it is greater than one so is equals to probability of x is equals to two plus probability of x is equals to three or the way which is one minus probability of x is equals to zero plus probability of x is equals to one so that's for probability of x is equals to zero it is e less to power negative lambda and we know what is our new lambda and then our lambda is 1 raised to power 0 over 0 factorial which is e raised to power negative 1. Then the second case is probability of x is equals to 1 that's what we are calculating so it will be e 
raised to power negative 1, 1 to power 1 all over 1 factorial, which is e raised to power negative 1. We can say therefore that probability of x is greater than 1 is equals to 1 minus e raised to power negative 1. These two, when you sum them together, that is the value they give. And this is 1 minus 0 0.7358, which is equals to 0 0.2642. So they, now when the time period changes, for example, uh, you want to change now from the two hours, that is on 20 minutes, we are told that lambda is equals to 8. Then somebody says 60 minutes. So our new lambda will be 60 over 120 times 8, and that will give us 4. So whatever now you'll be working with, you have reduced the time period from 120 minutes to 60 minutes. Then your lambda value changes, but everything else remains the same when we are solving such problems in future. Number 2, given that x is approximately triple zone with parameter 2, and our parameter 2 here is lambda. Basically, we are saying that our lambda is 2. Find the probability that x is equals to 1. It is e less to power minus lambda. Lambda less to power 1 all over 1 factorial, which is 2 e less to power minus 2, which is 0 0.2702. We could also be asked to find probability of x is greater than 1 which is from probability of x is equals to 2 plus probability of x is equals to 3 uh, going forward in that increment. This is the same as 1 minus probability of x is equals to 0 plus probability of x is equals to 1. And we've got the probability of x is equals to 1 as 0 0.2707. So probability of x is equals to 0 is e less to power minus lambda. Lambda raised to power x over x factorial, which is e raised to power minus 2. So probability of x is equals to 0 plus probability of x is equals to 1 will give me 3 e raised to power minus 2. And therefore, probability of x greater than 1 is 1 minus 3 e raised to the power minus 2. And if you do some computation, you get 0 0.594. And that's a solution to that question. If we are trying, we have been given the parameter lambda for a Poisson distribution. Please give me a feedback on my videos, but I'm sure you love them then please do subscribe. Thank you.